an effort to be healthier for the last few months. I've been eating oatmeal with fruit, even though when I um, had gestational diabetes, they avo said avoid eating fruit in the morning or milk products. But we stock our fridge now with a lot of baby spinach, a lot of fresh fruits, which Noah loves strawberries and can devour that whole container, the two pound container. He can eat that like in less than a week. Um, lots of cauliflower, our produce bins always super full, so we have to put things on other shelves. Just trying to do better and help our kids live a healthier lifestyle in general. Trading over to, it's more expensive, but Dave's Killer Bread, the thin slice um, bagel and bread, it's less carbs, um, good carbs for what it does have, so good stuff. And I think we're down to our last Clorox disinfecting wipes container. We still have spray and um, obviously paper towels and stuff. So we're good, but that's our last. It's so convenient to have these because throw them in the car, have them around the kitchen house and just clean up messes quickly. But yeah, lots of fruit. Um, our first few jalapenos, other than the one I've already cut up. I know there's more out there. We just haven't gotten to the garden, which I'll give you a little tour real quick as I'm trying to sell my house. This is our, um, I guess it, it was an orange room. Now it's no longer orange. It's kind of our gym and cat room. Our cat is so old. She's like over 20 years old. I think she was probably like 12 when we adopted her. But our garden is now overflowing again with weeds and stuff. We use that ball sprinkler as a sprinkler for the garden because the kids didn't really care for it. Noah actually is a little scared of it. So um, we just set it up in the middle as a sprinkler. We have cucumbers. Um, assortment of tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, peppers, banana peppers, which I see quite a few ready to pick. And um, we're going to leave the swing set that the kids got as a Christmas gift. So hopefully a family with children would like that. We're going to leave that shed. Um, it's got a few gaps and holes, but it still works to hold things. But yeah, this is our, our messy room. It's kind of like a... It wasn't a garage, it's just an addition. They just didn't have any insulation. So originally we were gonna put a mini split unit to cool it off because in the summers it's like a sauna and in the winters it's frozen. Um, our laundry room, we never did finish it so it has peeling floors, but we do have a new washer, the dryer that came with the house and we did close off this door that was leaking and put in a wall with Jim Hicks and his company. They did an amazing job making this look incredible. Our um, next project with them was going to be to insulate this whole room because there is no insulation. But since we're hoping to move, maybe the next homeowners will do that. Um, again, Jim Hicks improvements. They're amazing, like really, really cool peoples. Um, we were going to take this laundry room and expand our pantry so we could walk right through and not have to take these weird giant steps. It's always like two steps up, two steps down, but um that was the plan so now hopefully we will be moving to this house on elm which is double the size of our current house that's pretty cool i guess i'm a little still a little worried and nervous about getting this one sold it's been on the market since last week we've had showings every single day which is great but it's still stressful because keeping these kids entertained and um keeping the house somewhat tidy and slowly trying to pack up. It's, um, it's, it's hard. So if anybody sees this and wants to come by my house, um, I'm pretty sure that I had the posting listed last year, but if you need the address, you can always PM me. This is Mila's room. It's the first room that we actually painted. It used to be our office slash junk room. And then we found out we were having Mimi. So, um, I know there's still a lot of clutter, um, I honestly wish we still had the toddler bed because then it would make the room look bigger, but um, we took Noah's old mattress and put it on the floor for her because she likes to spread out. I need to get a lot of this stuff either out to my parents' house again or stored somewhere, but it's time consuming and we have to do other things like appointments and stuff. Here's Noah's room. We did paint that wall red and um, I forgot, we did paint the opposite wall red, but there are some spots because um, my husband did a quick job, so the painter's tape, like he missed a couple of spots. So there's blemishes, but it's for someone else to, um, you know, make their own. Um, 
we originally had all these Hot Wheels stickers all over. We took most of them down and we put them in his closet because that was what was recommended. So we're trying to keep things out of sight as much as possible. It's just hard when you're still living um, to keep things decluttered. And we have too much stuff. That's honestly, that's what it really boils down to. We just have way too much stuff. So we need to get rid of things, donate. Um, I'd rather have a more minimal or minimalist, is that the word? <laughs> Lifestyle. <laughs> because um, there's so much stuff that we have that we don't need, that we don't even use, that we forget about. This is my all time favorite. Um, one of Lane's friends in Savannah, he um, commissioned her to draw this of the kids and it's it's beautiful. So um, it was a Mother's Day gift, I think a couple years ago. But yeah, we, we really should try to get rid of stuff giving you the grand tour since um i don't actually have a tour video anymore there's my teeny tiny bathroom see the space that you have to um get between toilet to shower which is old it's old tiles these are things that we wanted to paint and change um i had all these ideas we needed to replace this because it's old um but yeah, it's my house. We have lovely hardwood floors that just need to be refinished throughout the bedrooms, the original. And then they put, um, whatever that's called. Like it's not, it's the, um, it's not real wood. It's the, I don't know, but that's throughout the living room. It's a bit more sturdier, I guess. But, um, as you can see, they have only like a little bit of carpet in the closets, which if you lift up, you can see the original hardwood floors. The closet space is limited, but we make it work. Um, I can fit both my stuff and Lane's stuff along with the drawers on our beds and plastic cheap rubber night drawers that I painted and a buffet that I got from Value City. Um, I just decided to use it as a dresser, but it's not that practical because it's drawer spaces are pretty limited. I just try to organize with, sorry, my bras, um, and try to whatever that Marie conduit or whatever her name is, I tried to do the t-shirts, but it didn't help at all because same amount of space pretty much. Yeah, it's a great house in a great neighborhood. Most of the neighbors are old and retired and um, former military, but over there, the very first house, um, I think it's 101, there's a young couple and they have a cute corgi. They don't have kids, but um, they're young and they're really sweet. Um, across the street, Mr. John, he used to have a pool, but um, they just got rid of it this year because grandkids have grown up and um, they look out for, they're always, there's people always watching and looking out for each other, especially Mr. John, our next door neighbor. Um, I can't remember his name, but um, his kid used to live there with him, college age, I guess. Now, um, I guess his kid's friend is remaining. And then next door, there's another younger gentleman who moved in, he's military. Um, it's mainly, a lot of retire across the street, right there by Chawan, um, that house right there. Usually they do Meals on Wheels. The gentleman, um, he's always out there at the bus stop in the morning getting ready for work and would always wave and say hi. Um, I know he's friends with Mr. John and our next door neighbor because they're all former military. And that's about it. So please, somebody come by my house so I can stop stressing. Here's my doorway. We do have a little bit of a, a gap right there. We, we were trying to fix that, but it didn't work so yeah come by my house maybe I might have a career in real estate I highly doubt it because I hate sales but um there's the tour